Well, I'm beginning to get worried that you guys are going to think I'm a liar. Because, <laughs> yet again, we've got snow. And there's supposed to be a bunch more coming tonight, too. Um, it's a Thursday afternoon. And uh, I just got home from work. Um, my wife and I are headed on a trip this weekend. Uh, it's our anniversary, so we're headed up north to celebrate. And uh, I figured I better come home and get prepared for that, you know, pack and and uh, bring wood up on the porch and all that stuff that I need to be ready for the weekend. Uh, so I got home a little bit early, but instead of doing what I should be, I'm going to work in the shop on the Land Cruiser because I got a very important package from Summit. And this is the package. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I got this other HEI distributor, which I'm hoping is going to be a better fit to replace um, the one that's in there. Uh, you might remember that I mentioned to you that we had an issue with fitment. Um, there was oil coming up through and leaking out. Uh, there wasn't much adjustment for timing, all that stuff. Um, I got on and got looking, found this other distributor, and... <laughs> It honestly looks like almost exactly the same, other than the clamp down method and uh, there's an oil relief, like a little pinhole, not pinhole, a weep hole, um, that uh, looks a little bit different too, which I think probably both of those is going to solve the issues I was having with this one. So I've got fire going. I used a couple of those rags that I mopped up the diesel fuel with from that tractor debacle. Uh, if you haven't seen that, either go back and look at a previous episode or that'll be coming in a future episode. Uh, but that worked really good as fire starter. <laughs> uh, this thing's up and roaring and, and some of that wood was covered with snow. In fact, you can see the snow on the ground there. So anyways, I got that fire going. I'm going to let the lights kind of work. These two right here aren't on yet. Um, you can probably see that one. That one over there, not on yet, but they'll warm up and get going here pretty soon. Uh, and then I've got my work light here that I'll set up to light it up for me. Uh, so what I'm going to work on is I'm going to go ahead and pull the expansion take out, get the battery pulled out, just get all that out of the way so I've got space to work with here. Get the cap off of the distributor. And then, and I'm going to leave the plugs hooked up to that. I'm going to pull the engine over until we're pointing at uh, cylinder number one and that'll be kind of my um, that'll be my timing mark to know where that's set and then I'll pull that distributor out stab this one down in and uh, and then I'll know that's my reference mark to put that rotor facing that uh, spark plug number one and uh, or cylinder number one and, uh, and then hopefully when i put it all back together it'll just fire right up i do not have a timing light um, i uh, hope that's not going to be an issue um, but we'll we'll see we'll cross that bridge when we get there i guess and uh, so yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and get started on this and see if i can't make this happen fairly quickly so that hopefully i've still got time to go inside and do the responsible thing that a responsible husband should be doing and preparing for my anniversary weekend. Okay, I think that's going to work pretty good. <clears throat> Basically what I'm aiming for, I'll show you again here. I'm aiming for that screw right there that's kind of down uh, below, the, uh, be below the mechanical advance. Um, that's pointing at on this, the way we have this one set up is pointing at cylinder number one. Um, I might change that after I get the new one in and get it started. Uh, we kind of had this one at a weird angle, weird angle just because of the clocking of it. Um, well, there's a lot that went into it, but basically we kind of left it on this, which wasn't ideal, but it worked. Um, but that's how I'm gonna stab the new one in. And then if I need to change it, I can do that after I've got the new one in and I know timing's good and all that stuff, if that makes sense. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to take a couple pictures of that, uh, just so I've got as a reference to look at, make sure I get the new one stabbed in exactly where this one was. And, uh, and then I'll pull this one out and compare the two, put the new one in and start assembly. Okay. Well, I think that's it. I think it's time to put a battery in it. 
and uh, crank it over and see what we did wrong. video to my buddy Steve because uh, he's the one that helped me with the first one and I know he's anxious to know if this worked or not. Okay I shut it down real quick just to play with a couple of things. I wanted to see how much adjustment I could get out of timing um, and it looks like there's quite a bit of rotation I can get on that base so I should be able to dial it in I think easier than I could the other one. Um, and I think it's the way that cap is adjusted. It's it's turned just a little bit based on or from where the other one was that allowed it. I think it's a little bit smaller too. It's not quite as close to the block. Um, anyways, so I turned it off to check that and I also wanted to make sure I had oil pressure which was another issue we had with the other one. Just a couple other things. Everything's looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and fire it up again and let it warm up. And then once it's warm up, I'll kind of play with that clocking position. And uh, and then at that point, uh, kind of cinch it down, go for a test drive and see how everything feels. Well, I'm kind of guessing, but I think I'm going to lock it down there. It feels pretty good. Still got a little bit of a miss, but it could be just a, a cold carburetor deal. I've, I've dealt with that a lot on this, so I'm not going to narrow that down to the distributor. Um, I really need to get a timing light on it, but I don't have that right now. So uh, for now, though, it starts and runs. I'm going to take it out for a drive real quick, just see how all that feels. And, uh, and then I'll probably call it done. I think that worked pretty good. Um, it's still got a little bit of a miss right at the beginning. Like I said, I think that could be a carburetor deal. Uh, timing I'm sure is off from where it's supposed to be because I just kind of turned and felt and ran and kind of a deal, so all of that. But the biggest thing is it fits. There's lots of adjustment in it. This is definitely a better fit for this vehicle, um, whereas that other HEI distributor was close, just wasn't working. There was too many things that, that was a problem with it. So I'm, I'm happy. So I'm gonna call it a day and uh, head in and get ready for the more important thing, 
that's happening this weekend, which is the anniversary. So happy anniversary, honey. Um, I'm sorry I put this first <laughs> before we headed out this weekend, but you're gonna get primped and pampered and, and, uh, and put first for the rest of the weekend. Well, I can tell you already, that's quite a difference. Uh, pulling out on the highway and getting up to 65, well, <laughs> in this, about 55, 60, is all uphill uh, when I'm headed in town. And it just got right up and it's holding. And so, alrighty, that's, uh, that's pretty exciting.